If you're watching this, you're probably somebody who enjoys horror content, listening to scary stories like creepypastas, or real people sharing their terrifying experiences. But rather than having to use your imagination to fill in the blanks as to what's happening in these stories, typically featured on this channel, today we'll be watching three real horrifying dashcam videos, each with their own sinister events for us to witness. Without further ado, let's begin. This video takes place just past midnight on the highway. The driver appears to hit some random roadblock in the middle of his drive and an already odd and suspicious situation quickly escalates. Whoa, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Can I, what's going on? Can I help you with something? Yes. Although it wasn't caught on camera, the man in jeans apparently was about to pull something out of his pocket, and the driver recognizes that's his cue to leave. What he was about to pull out is anybody's guess, but I'm willing to bet it wasn't a breathalyzer for a sobriety check, considering that this quote unquote roadblock didn't have any signage, lighting, or reflective vests on any workers near it. Just some sketchy guy in jeans walking up close with two traffic cones square in the middle of the road. It's pretty natural to have alarm bells ringing in your head. While some may wrongfully assume or ignore their instincts about this obvious trap, the driver made the right choice and reacted promptly by driving away just as the man was likely about to pull a gun to rob the driver. It was quite risky to stop and ask what was going on though, but it's reasonable to assume that many would have done the same. Luckily for the driver, he was able to get away before shit hit the fan. Who knows what would have gone down if he didn't. And now, this serves as a lesson to any of you, myself included, who may encounter a similar situation like this. Even if it's late, even if you're tired, it's important to stay vigilant in case of a scenario like this. When in doubt, get the hell out. This next video was recorded in Australia during 2015 the year that the catastrophic Pinery Fire occurred. Here, we see firefighters on their way to the scene that they swiftly realize to be an inferno, one that winds up enveloping the trucks and endangering the firefighters' lives. As we just saw, absolute mayhem ensued when the truck reversed into a collision to provide space for the car that drove by. Many people question why the dash cam fire truck didn't just move back as well. And the answer is that the firefighters went into burnover mode. Essentially, this is a situation in which a fire is bound to overrun the truck. So the firefighters battened down the hatches, so to speak, by having the truck deploy a water mist around the vehicle through exterior nozzles, the unraveling of thermal curtains along the windows, and the firefighters bundling themselves up with fireproof blankets. I cannot imagine what these firefighters went through that day to see such a massive fire that spread so fast that they had no way of controlling and had the potential of taking their lives within the span of minutes. Truly, a horrifying experience to endure. Fortunately, all these firefighting heroes survived and lived to fight fire another day. To finish off, we have another dashcam video recording of a car 
driving on the road, this time in Russia. All I can say about this clip is that it can make you appreciate the fact that in this moment, you are alive. Because that can change in the blink of an eye. Viewer discretion is advised. While it isn't entirely clear what exactly happened based on the video, the truck seen in the footage was carrying some sort of shipment that had a brick which came loose and crashed into the car's windshield. The driver didn't realize what had happened initially, but one look to his passenger seat was all it took for that to change. The horrific realization became clear as he witnessed his wife with her head split wide open. She passed away at the hospital a few hours later. Oh, my God.